Hey, it's uh, JC Sylvie. Welcome to the Loudoun Impact Podcast. We interview purpose-driven leaders right here in Loudoun County. Really happy today to uh, meet Frank Holtz. He is a local United States Marine Corps Reserve, retired at this point, correct, Frank? That's correct. <laughs> but uh, retired gunnery sergeant, and uh, he's also the lead for the United States Marine Corps Loudoun County branch of Toys for Tots. And uh, a big drive this time of year during the, the holidays, uh, and due to COVID, a lot of extra challenges so we're gonna um talk to frank about some of those things but before we do we always uh, give a shout out to a local establishment that hosts us and today we're at leesburg public house as anybody who knows me uh understands that i'm a big fan of public house come here quite a bit so um uh thank you uh to mark and kim for hosting us today uh frank thanks for, for, first of all thanks for joining me today i appreciate your time really busy day uh time of year so uh, before we get into the toys for tots i, I kind of want to get to know you a little bit more because you're um highly active in the community and uh, and i'm curious about um your background here in loud county well uh, i grew up in pittsburgh pennsylvania go I, Steelers. yeah go Steelers <laughs> tonight uh, they finally play that's right uh i grew up in pittsburgh uh, i moved down here in the uh uh, early 80s, uh -huh. um, looking for work after I got off of active duty in the Marine Corps. Uh, I found a job with the United States Capitol Police in Washington. I uh, spent 28 years with them and retired. Mm -hmm. um, as uh, my Marine Corps Reserve uh, unit was out of the Pentagon, where I served there for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And um, and I did get that right. You were a gunnery sergeant? I was a gunnery, yeah, retired gunner? reserve gunnery yeah. sergeant, yes. Yeah, fascinating. So, um, how did you get involved in the Toys for Tots program? That was about 10 years ago. Uh, we had a retired local colonel who ran a program. Him and his uh, small group of Marine, retired Marines. Mm -hmm. And they basically ran it out of their garages, two small garages here in Loudoun County. And I would help them uh, for a couple uh, seasons. Mm -hmm. And it come to a point where the colonel could not uh, do the job anymore. And uh, I took it over. And that was uh, eight years ago. <laughs> and uh, here we go. We're going from uh, garages to data centers. So uh, it, uh, it's been a uh, it's been interesting and uh, motivating, and uh, we've done very well for our program here in Loudon. So tell us a little bit about what the program is. I mean, obviously Toys for Tots, but um, a little bit more than that. And it's a Marine Corps uh, program. It is. It's a tradition that um, started in the early 1900s. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been around actually since 1942. Uh, when a group of Marines got together and they wanted to have toys for the local kids uh, and the Marine Corps officers uh, made toys, painted toys and gave them to the local churches. Uh, somehow this information got to the Commandant of the Marine Corps and Congress mm -hmm. and they actually enacted the uh, Toys for Tots program to be a nonprofit. And um, you know the story from there. Here sure. we are today. Yeah. Uh, so in the past you have, uh, it's been a drive to collect toys. Um, and distribute, and that is totally different this year. Tell us about that. It is, it's uh, very much different. In September, uh, myself and others, our assistant coordinator and the Marine Corps League knew that we were gonna have some issues, because generally uh, our program's run by generous people of Loudoun County dropping toys off. Mm -hmm. um, what uh, hurt our program this year, obviously the pandemic, uh, Usually we have 240 different businesses here in Loudoun County that would uh, help with our program. What would happen this year is they're not going to be able to drop their toys off at any of the fire stations in Loudoun County because obviously uh, the chief and um, his uh, staff cannot have anybody but his career mm -hmm. firefighters on a premise for obvious reasons. So if we can't have that, it pretty much hurt our program where we can't actually produce the toys because we can't produce the volunteers. Right. How the, many toys do you usually distribute a year? Uh, well, to families, uh, over 8,000, mm -hmm. and toys, uh, anywhere between 25 and 28,000 toys. Wow. Uh, when you have that many toys that needed sorted, right. uh, we have over 300 volunteers. Uh, of those volunteers, mainly are high school kids, and uh, a third of those are senior citizens. Obviously, if we would mix a seniors with uh, high school kids, uh, it, was a, it would be a disaster. 
if I would have one positive case, that means I'd have to shut the program down for 14 days. And while we're at, what, December 3rd right now, 14 right. days, I couldn't have that uh, not on our program. So right. we uh, wrote up a plan, gave it, for, uh, gave it to Toys for Tots organization at Quantico, their headquarters, and told them how we plan on doing our, our program this year. Uh, we're different here in Loudoun because we use volunteers. Uh, Fairfax County and Arlington counties use active duty Marines, whereas oh, active yeah. active duty Marines, yeah. they're assigned to Toys for Tots, and and I don't have a platoon of privates no, to say go pick up boxes <laughs> for me and take them to this big warehouse. Uh, we don't have that luxury, so we, we worked around it, and basically what we did is we got with uh, the media from east to west, and we told them what our issues are with press releases and those businesses also. Right, and so now it's a uh, a cash issue, right? You're raising it's funds. it's 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 donations. Donations, uh, and then you will purchase the toys. That's exactly what we're doing. As the funds come in, uh, we look at our numbers through the four main nonprofits here in Loudoun County. A couple of them are you're familiar with probably is the Salvation Army, right? Uh, Mobile Hope. Yep. Uh, help, uh, empowerment, and uh, some others. And uh, of those four major ones, we have 18 smaller nonprofits who we utilize. So uh, having those all together, we work together to make sure that uh, their numbers are the numbers that we go shop for. Right. So if you sign up online that you need, uh, for instance, uh, gender and age, we go out and purchase those toys. Very well. That's uh, that's a, a big task to um, switch gears quickly, um, but it seems like Lyon County has stepped up. They have so far. Uh, an example: just the last couple of days, uh, we had a fundraiser at the Village of Leesburg with mm -hmm. Red's Barbecue and Pizza. I saw that. How was the barbecue? <clears throat> it was outstanding. <laughs> Red, guy, huh? Red and Red's a former Marine. He He's actually. Uh, he was a MSG Marine, which is, means that he served at the embassies. Uh -huh. So he was a cream of crop of the Marines, yeah. and uh, he helped us out with his big 18-foot trailer. Yeah. And we had drive-bys, and we served uh, uh, barbecues uh, for the afternoon. Right. And then just yesterday, we uh, went over to Century 21 in Ashburn, uh -huh. and they delivered us a check for 20, or excuse me, for $5,200. Nice. Yeah. So we have a lot of businesses who are stepping up and helping us, and. We uh, hope to get a lot more of that in the next 15 days. Yeah, um, you've got a big goal, right? So uh, how is it coming? Is it, is it progressing the way you hoped? It, or? it is progressing. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm always uh, fascinated how, how people uh, in the county are, are so generous. Um, yeah. They always are. They are with their toys. They have been with their donations. Uh, some of the people who are helping us, as a matter of fact, tomorrow we're making a video with the fire department. Uh -huh. Uh, and that should be interesting uh, with Santa and yeah. uh, the Toys for Tots Bear. Uh -huh. uh, the Sheriff's Department's been very helpful. Uh, we've utilized some of their marquees throughout the county, mm -hmm. give them our, our, uh, our, uh, our address to donate. Mm -hmm. um, so those little things combine and going out and, and reminding folks that, uh, have you done that yet? Uh, yeah. are, are we there yet? Uh, so it's it's a different it's a different ball game for us this year, but I feel that uh, Marines we always end up taking our hill one way or the other. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about the Marine Corps. And you brought your uh, jacket for your dress blues. Um, in my opinion, probably the sharpest mm -hmm. uniform there is in the uh, United States Armed Services. I I'm not a Marine. I'm, I'm just for full disclosure, Frank, I'm ex-Navy. So well, I, then a couple, there's a couple of things that yeah. uh, you'll um, so understand there, on yes, this on this there uniform. Is. I, and, we, and at the Naval Academy, we, we studied a little bit about some of the origins of <laughs> of the dress blue. So why don't you take it from here? And then, Frank, which, and which you you already know is the blue is for the Naval Service. Yeah. Uh, the Eagle Globe and Ankle is the Globe is a worldwide service. The Eagle, United States of America, and uh -huh. of course here comes the Navy again. The Anchor, yeah. Of course, we're part of the Navy. Part uh, of the Navy, which ex exactly. some people don't understand. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and basically, I don't have the blue the blue bottoms with me with the red yeah, the blood pants. stripe. Yeah. But it goes back into the uh, early 1900s during the Revolutionary War when Marines fought uh, fierce battles. And I believe it was the Navy, uh, aviators, and others 
that gave them all kinds of names that I won't repeat right yeah. now. <laughs> but one of them was blood stripes for all the blood that the Marines lost on a battlefield uh -huh. in the early 1900s. So that's yeah. the red blood stripes. And that's the red stripe down the, uh, the, the pants. Exactly. Yeah, officers, the officers, uh, second lieutenants and above, uh -huh. and also non-commissioned officers in the Marine Corps, which are E-4s and above, enlisted mm -hmm. men. Right. Uh, have the right to wear the dress blues uniform. Yeah, it's a beautiful uh, uniform. What about the uh, the sword that most Marines carry in, in dress occasions, the Mameluke? What's it, the story behind that? The sword itself? Yeah. Well, it, there's a lot of different stories about them. I, uh, even the history, I have a couple of friends who actually work at the Marine Corps Museum. Yeah. And uh, you hear myths. That's and then, then you Google president. it, right. and you Google it. I would say the safe thing to say is that uh, it's been a tradition of the dress uniform yeah. from uh, other armed services also. Right. Uh, you have an officer's sword that's different than a staff NCO sword, mm -hmm. and then you have an NCO sword. Mm -hmm. uh, the pearl handle for the officers is different than the enlisted. Right. Um, and the engravings are also yeah. different. Yeah. But the sword is a sword every year when they cut the Marine Corps cake. Everybody's just looking for a sword. Right, yeah. I, um, uh, there's also a term uh, used for Marines called leathernecks, um, and from what I understand is from this, uh, the collar. Exactly. The, the stiff collar, and obviously that's probably a little bit of an urban myth because... Well, it actually was used. Oh, was it really? It was used. It was, it was a thick leather uh -huh. that uh, the opposition, uh, obviously, back in the day, uh, fighting, uh, the neck was an area that you would have to utilize to... Uh, yeah. So this part right here was, was all leather. leather. It was all yeah. leather, and it and it covered the uh, the soldiers or the Marines' neck from yeah. injury. Yeah, pretty neat and uh, highly decorated. Obviously, there, Frank. Well done. Thank you for your service and uh, very impressive dress uniform. Frank, uh, for the viewers who want to uh, help with Toys for Tots here in Loudoun, how can they help you guys? The best thing to help us this year, since we don't have volunteers, mm -hmm. is to donate online. Right. It's uh, loudounmarines.org, okay. and it brings you to a site of Toys for Tots, and it's very easy to navigate. And also, uh, the folks who want to get toys for their families, most important, is that they'll go on and you'll see where they'll have four different nonprofits, mm -hmm. and you'll just simply say your name, uh, age and gender of the, the child that you want to have a toy for. Mm -hmm. At that point, uh, again, we'll be taking those numbers, and as we have the funds to buy the toys, we buy them, and as the nonprofits fill up, we'll make sure that we get those numbers to them. And those individuals, what they would do, they would go to those uh, locations to pick up their toys. I see. Well, it's a great program, uh, Frank. I, I see you out and about in the community quite a bit. You've got a great social presence. I, I see that iconic picture of you saluting the 9-11 uh, motorcade <coughs> that comes through town, the motorcycle ride every every year, and, and you uh, turn out and you dress blues. and. In well, every year I have to see if my dress blues fit. Right? <laughs> you, well, I'm about 30 years senior to the uniform that's usually worn by a 30-year-old man. Very but uh, right? I just see how, how, yeah. uh, how tight those buttons are, and I just yeah. exercise a little more. Uh, one thing I'd like to give a shout-out for is uh, the Loudoun Sheriff's Department is having a, also a toy drive. Uh -huh. And his toy drive is uh, quite different than ours. But it has the same goal, it's getting kids toys. Right. Uh, we found out that a lot of the folks uh, forget that we're not collecting toys and mm -hmm. they've been bringing toys to one of our sites like in uh, downtown Leesburg right. at the government center. Uh, those toys should go to the Sheriff's Department substations. Okay. Uh, those toys will be utilized to make sure they get to the kids in the hospitals. That's great, yeah. All good information. We highly encourage uh, everybody out there during the holiday season to take part in Toys for Tots. Frank, thanks for joining thanks me. Thanks for having and, me. And uh, I'm sure you'll meet your goal this year.